Hey, this is JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue, Toledo, Ohio, 436 17419 531 JC's Comics and More on Instagram, JC's Comics and More on Hotmail. Find the Facebook link in the description below. This is Tuesday, May 2nd. We're going to have our Marvel's DC's and Diamond Comics here. We're going to blow through these things pretty fast. So we got Adventures of Superman number three. It's, uh, this is actually really good. If you don't believe me, ask Sherlock. He'll tell you. It's a really, really good book. We've got one of the variant covers. This here, I know what they're trying to do. It's a really bad cover. The artwork is very bad. Look at those backgrounds. This is very, very bad. Whatever they paid, hopefully they paid no more than a dollar to have somebody do this. It's that bad. This is amateur hour, 100%. You'd expect this on, like, maybe IDW, Boom Studios, Vault, Scout, something like that. Not on DC Comics. Boo, boo, DC. Boo, boo. Ultimate fail. This cover is not much better. You might be, well, you're critical. You're damn right I'm critical. I want books, I want covers that are going to sell books, not make people walk away. Like this cover. This is a decent cover. We're going to see a lot of good Batman covers. This is issue 900, or better known as 135. So we've got that. We've got this here, which, let me show you what this cover does. It's a very cool connecting cover. If you buy one, you probably really, really have to buy both, right? You really have to buy both. You can't just buy one and walk away. Joe Casada did these. Look at this here. This right here, that right there, this is, is better than that Superman cover. That right there is so much better. Here we've got the 1 in 25 variant on Batman 900 135. This is the 1 in 50 variant by Art Germ, a foil cover. Pretty nice. Here is another variant. There is the Art Germ variant. Somebody didn't like it because it's got a man on it, and it's like, well, you know, he does hot women, but his, his man, I guess, are good looking too. You know, but people aren't buying art germ for their for his for the, the men that he does. Got these robins here on this cover here. There is another pretty cool Batman cover. Uh, again, so much better than the Adventures of Superman cover. Look at this foil cover here. That's really cool. This cover here is so much better. Then we got Carmen Infantino doing the cover of the Fixilli edition, probably with Murphy Anderson. Yep. Issue 181 that reprints Poison Ivy's first appearance, complete with like the old paper and ads, including, look, their scooter. And look, Brocky and Bullock was selling Cheerios. And this is missing. No, it's got the it's got the uh, the poster. So we've got that. And they also decided to do a blank version of that and a foil cover version of that. I'm surprised Marvel hasn't jumped on that bandwagon yet. Batman The Audio Adventures, number six. I think this is the last issue of the series. Uh, that's the Dave Johnson cover. And then you have uh, this cover here, which is pretty good by Mike Aldred. Got Batman and Joker, The Deadly Duo, number seven. Mark Silvestri, there we go. We're going to have a pair of Simon Bisley covers. The Biz is back, man. Drawing crazy Joker clowns faces. We've got Mike McNola doing that cover right there. You've got a Jock cover. At first you might think it's Bill Sienkiewicz, but no, it's Jock. You've got a 1 in 25 by John Boy Williams. Flash. Number 798. Look, 798. Cool. We're going to see issue 800. Then we'll see issue 805, 806. No, the series comes to an end at 800 because we can't have those long, those big numbers because they're bad. Uh, I'd say, what's, what's Penn and Teller say? They say bullshit. Uh, Flash. There's another cover there, variant cover. What's he doing on the variant covers, you say? He's running. The Joker. The man who uh, forgot how to laugh. Oh, stopped laughing. Issue number eight with Killer Croc on the front. There, we've got that variant there. We've got a very Brian Ballen, Killing Joke inspired cover there. Outstanding. Punisher, or uh, excuse me, uh, Peacemaker tries hard. He's got a little dog. 
I think his dog's name is uh, Rob, uh, but uh, he's got a big gun there, and you've got a pretty cool looking cover there, and then you've got this variant, looks like a movie poster variant. Poison Ivy number 12, cover A, cover B. With one magic word, Shazam! Oh, Captain Marvel, the old Big Red Cheese himself, new series. Uh, curious what you guys think of this. Be sure to let me know. There's a pretty cool cover there. Um, and we also have a couple other really cool Captain Marvel covers. That's a Mike Diodato cover. Almost looks like Brent Anderson uh, to me a little bit. But we're going to grab the diamond stuff next. Okay. We can't stop the uh, camera. The camera does not pause, so you know this is, we're going to do this all the way through. First off, we'll just start with this Iron Maiden hardcover. Where is Eddie? This is a like Where's Waldo with uh, with Eddie the Head from uh, Iron Maiden uh, being in there. And then on the back, pretty cool cover there with Eddie representing all five members or all six members of Iron Maiden. Bruce Dickinson. You've got Nico McBrain, Mr. Flatface. You've got Dave Murray, Adrian Smith. Uh, you've got Steve Harris, and then you've got uh, you've got uh, it was it uh, Jerk uh, does the other guitars. Uh, so it's very very cool. If you're a Maiden fan, you know somebody that's a Maiden fan. Come get that for them. Here we start off with Almighty uh, number four. We've got Animal Castle, new Animal Castle Volume Two. From a blaze, cover A and B. We've got Astral Bots from What What Not, cover A, B, and C. You've got Barb Arella, uh, very very smoking hot, sexy covers here. That's a Derek Chu cover, and uh, I'd have to look up to see exactly who does all these covers, but some. Smoking hot covers there. There's a cosplay cover. She certainly doesn't hold back any of that uh, hotness. And then got some of these variants here. Almost looks like it's supposed to be Pam Anderson. There's a black uh, black cover because it's got naughty stuff on there. You know, I can show somebody getting their head blown off, but you can't show those naughty stuff. The same stuff you look in the mirror that uh, everybody has. On top, at least. And we've got a bunch more variant covers here. If you're interested in the variant covers, let me know in the comments below. You people got to talk to me, man. You got to talk to me. You got to let me know. Really like those black light covers. Those things are sharp. Got Blood Tree number four. Breath of Shadows number four from IDW. Hate, I will always say I hate stuff at the bottom. By the Horns, Dark Earth, number eight. We've got the new Creepy, volume one. Reprints Creepies one through five. These were in hardcover. They're now doing them in the uh, the soft cover. And this is a Frank Frazetta cover, too. Bonus. How much did you pay for that? $24.99? Yeah, that's not a bad price. Sign me up. I'd like to pay $24.99 for that. Now, the next group. We're going to start off with a, another hot character, Draculina. I think it's Dracula's daughter. Uh, and she's a stripper now, I think, or maybe not, or she could be. Uh, but issue three, Blood Simple. Look at those. Got some hot, hot covers there. And Joe Lindsner. Man, sign me up. Anything Joe wants to do, as far as, uh, as, far as redheads, blondes, red uh, brunettes, sure. I'm on board. That there, I think, is the weakest cover out of them all. It's just that's a very weak cover. This this artist could actually do uh, DC covers. There you go. That's a cover D right there. There's a the cosplay, and I bet she's uh, seen her way around. Uh, well, you know, not terrible stuff. But look at her. She wants to bite you. There's a Lensner cover. These are all variants. There's the Virgin uh, cosplay cover, and I bet she hasn't been in a long time. There's that cover there. There we go. 
more smoking hot covers. You got three different versions of this one here. Look at that. Bam, bam, Alakazam. Thank you, ma'am. I'm going to flip these over. Or maybe we should just flip the camera over. Maybe we should just do it that. Stand on your head during this part. We've got Godfell, number three. Grimm's Fairy Tales. Because it is time for May the 4th be with you. Force be with you. So they always do their, their cosplay covers. Look, bet you never thought that Luke Skywalker would look that good. It's like, man, hold my lightsaber. And by the way, I hope you're eating soup at this time. There is the B cover. There is the D cover. This looks more rogue looking than, uh, say, Ewokian covers. And there, a stormtrooper. I bet she can. Uh, she can hit. She's gonna hit what she aims at. Now we have hairball. Who read hairball one? What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. That's cover B. Hey kids, comics by Howard Chaikin. That's not for kids. If Howard Chaikin's name's on it, it's not for kids. Believe me. I hate this place. Yeah, you know what else I hate? You know what else about this place? Yeah, that place too. Yeah, you better believe that place. Junk Rabbit number two. Who read issue one? Let me know. Covers A and B. Was it uh, Lamentation? Was it this, uh, if I didn't butcher this up this, this time, but Lamentation, it's a limitation of the vehemen. Let's cover A and B. And I think that's a Kyle Holtz cover, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Why would I even doubt myself? Again, I say it, and I'll say it all the time. Kyle Holtz is the most underrated artist in the business today. Period. That right there, just what he drew right there, better than that Adventures of Superman cover. Hell, that candle is better than that artist who drew that cover. Love Everlasting, number seven. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I guess they turned into dinosaurs. Cover A. Kevin Eastman. B. C. D. E. I want to say that's a 1 in 10 variant. Might be maybe maybe more than that. I think it's a 1 in 10. And you've got a couple other variants there as well. That's a 1 per store variant. Um, mon -o Monomyth. Issue number one, My Little Pony. It's wearing, uh, I think uh, I think Sherlock Holmes wears a hat like this. Maybe, maybe. I know a Sherlock Holmes that probably, he wears a hat like this from time to time. Number 12. Parker Girls number seven from Terry Moore. Punchline number 14. I swear I got Punchline in last week. Somebody needs to come pick up their punchlines. Radiant Black. Number 24. People have been asking about Rogue State number 3. I've got it in here. I only bought two copies. Because Rogue State kind of not doing as well as I'd like. So I only bought two copies, people. I can reorder it if you wish. Finally, we've got the final stack of the Diamond books. And we still have the Marvel books. Skull and Bones number 3. We've got Stars and Star Signs number 1 from Image. Star Trek Deep Space Nine, number two, cover A and B. Star Wars The High Republic Adventures, number four. Star Wars The High Republic Adventures, number three of The Nameless Terror. Survival, number one from Dark Horse. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Yusagi Ujimbo, number two, cover A. This is a wrap around cover Kevin Eastman B the 1 in 10 variant here we got the Triton of Orella that is for Ms. Julie she's going to be very happy Van Helsing Finding Neverland we're off to Never Neverland cover A B, C, 
That's pretty nice. And D. I wonder, wonder what uh, she's up to, man. She's got wings all over the place. The Walking Dead Deluxe, number 62. This right here, they should have went with different colors here because that's okay there. But this here, it just blends in and fades away. That is the B cover. Where Monsters Lie, number four. I cannot wait to read this. I have not read it yet. I have been holding restraint. I'll get the videos over with and I'll re reward myself by reading it. But this is probably single-handedly one of the best books this year. These are the Xenoscope uh, retailer uh, uh, variants. This is the bronze. That is the silver John Rowley. This is the gold. Wait a second. That's the silver. Silly me. There's too much clothes on her to be the gold. The gold brings it all home. That's uh, that's Snow White. Man, oh man. I know somebody's going to be interested in that for sure. But you got to tell me in the comments below. Now, finally, we have the Marvels. So, we'll get these babies all set up over here. We've got Avengers Across Time. This is the last issue of this series, which is really too bad. It should have been a 12-issue series. I would have liked that to have been a 12-issue series because it's that good. Uh, Alan Davis, Paul, Paul Levitz, uh, they should be doing the comic on a regular basis. That's who should be starting the Avengers up. This is so good. Probably one of Marvel's best comics that comes out along with Punisher and a few other ones. That new Warlock was really good too. Here we got Carnage Reigns, Alpha, Part 1. Multiple covers here. This, I believe, is a connecting cover. One of these, I believe, are 1 in 25. There is another Kyle Holtz cover. Again, this is a great week. We got lots of Kyle Holtz. Man, just an amazing cover. Cult of Carnage Misery. Issue 1, new miniseries. That is what they call the Venom, the other variants. They're going to be doing covers on those on several of the books. There's their window shade variant. There is Peach Momoko's Demon Wars uh, Scarlet Sin, number one. And these are the various covers that are on that. It's a takeoff on Avengers uh, number four. This is a Kevin Eastman cover, by the way. And again, I think pretty much a lot of these, no, not a lot, not many, but the logo at the bottom serves no purpose there. Pull this image down, put the logo at the top. Take my word on it. I've been doing this for a minute. I know how to sell comics. Edge of Spider-Verse, number one. New series. Got Spider-Rex. I like dinosaurs, but I don't like dinosaurs in Spider-Man, sorry. There's the Howard the Duck variant. And finally, the Scotty Young variant. Okay. Groot. Shouldn't the series be called I Am Groot? New Groot miniseries. I have no idea how well it's going to sell, but I know Dan... Uh, Abinette's doing it, so I know of at least one person he's going to buy it because he's a big Dan Dan fan. So these are all the different covers on the Groot. That's actually a pretty decent Peach Momoko cover. She, she can do covers, good covers at times. There's that. There is a Scotty Young Groot cover. That damn raccoon's in the trash again. You know how you take care of raccoons? A steel-toed boot to the head. That'll shut them up. Immortal X-Men number 11. I don't like St Storm's face. It just does not look good. I know Mark Brooks did it. But that just does not look good at all. There is the Spider-Verse cover. They're doing these. 
So you're going to get different variations of characters as Spider-Man or characters. So this is a Black Cat type character as Emma Frost. There is a... Uh, Oh, I can't remember. I think it's issue 57 of the Avengers. I think this was supposed to be a takeoff on. Of course. Okay, they do put after Basama. Good. But it's a Stormbreakers cover. Then you've got that Storm cover there. And again, uh, I know what they're trying to do. They should have tried a little bit better. Joe Fixit, number five. I talked about that Avengers book. This Joe Fixit, top notch too. Man, this thing did not disappoint I want another Joe Fix-It series. Miracle Man. This is Marvel Tales Miracle Man 1. It's for whatever reason, these things are bagged. Must have nudie stuff inside. But this uh, uh, is part of their Marvel Tales. I just bought uh, a couple copies of each, and that's it. Because that new Marvel Miracle Man is not selling very well. This here is Moon Knight. This should not say Venom and Moon Knight. It should say Moon Knight and Venom, because the title is Moon Knight. People might be like... Well, do you have Venom and Moon Knight number 21? Do you have issue 1? That's, that's, that's bad placement. That's bad right there. That's on the editor. The editor needs to be fired. Here is another Spider-Verse one with Moon Knight as Spider-Man. Looks like he's had a couple of... Uh, he's eating too much. Maybe he's eating too much uh, stuff that's making him bloat. He needs to take some of that... Uh, uh, some of that stuff that helps your digestive program that that uh, uh, some of those actors push. They're supposed to be that takeoff cover, I think, on Avengers 16. And that's a Stormbreakers cover. There's a really cool Moon Knight cover there. This is... Is this another Moon Knight cover? Oh, it's a Scarlet Witch. My Scarlet Witches! I did not get my cover A's from, from Penguin. So I'm waiting on lots of other stuff from them, too. And I can't remember what cover this is from exactly after Finch. It's a David Finch cover. Probably a new Avengers cover. Uh, but these are the only copies of Scarlet Witch I have. There's another Spider-Man, Spider-Verse cover. I ordered some copies from a Scarlet Witch from Diamond that I should have in on Friday. And some other missing stuff that I decided to give Diamond a... Uh, uh, give them a chance to get that stuff to me in time. Spider-Man number 8. This has got Electro in it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Electro's in uh, Joe Fix-It too. But give me Electro all day long. There's a Rob Liefeld homage cover. He's going to be doing several of those with Deadpool. Why? Because they're trying to make Deadpool relevant again. Spider-Man 2099 Dark Genesis Alpha or number 1. There is the covers, I guess, in this, uh, in the future, um, Carnage is a dinosaur. Maybe he's supposed to be Stegon, the dinosaur man. Star Wars number 34, got Luke Skywalker with his broken lightsaber. There is the, the, uh, Return of the Jedi, uh, cover number 15 of, of 40. And, uh, I guess they're gonna be showing the Return of the Jedi in the, uh, theaters, uh, in a couple of days. There's that cover. There is the action figure cover, Darth Maul hologram. They're, they're doing now solo covers. This is one of six. There's Lando number one. Billy D. Williams. All right, giving Billy D. some love. Give Billy D. some love. That is a connecting cover to like the Jabba cover and uh, I think the Ewoks as well. Really cool, really cool seeing Billy D. Yoda, Yoda number seven. You know, going against what General uh, Grievous, Grievous, Grievous. That's a pretty cool Yoda cover there. There is another solo cover, two of six. And then finally, we've got X Men Before the Fall, Sons of X number one, cover A, B, and I think that's C. If you do like these videos, as always, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notification, like, comment, and share. Other than that, everybody have a great rest of your Tuesday. Don't forget to thank your comics retailers tomorrow. And also, real quick, you have to see a fireman or fire uh, 
a policeman uh, in the stores like uh, myself this morning. I was at a Kroger's. I saw a fireman in there. And I walked past him. I was going to my stuff. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go thank him. And I thanked him, and it probably made his day. He had a big smile lit up on his face, gave me a fist bump. He thanked me. I'm like, no, thank you. You guys are the guys that are the first guys on the scene. And I saw a couple of their other, a uh, couple of his other uh, uh, firemen, some of his, a uh, couple of his other brothers, and I thanked them as well. They probably don't get thanked nearly as much as they should. Other than that, thanks for watching.